you know, it's tough. It's it's not a gimme. It's not a uh, gentleman's school uh, at all. My command wanted me to uh, look at other PME options uh, because of course length. There was a lot of people who thought that I had this. You know, what's he going to learn at uh, infantry unit leaders course? But I think to say that is somebody who is unable to look themselves in the mirror and self-evaluate. Uh, is what they were firing on. Okay, this is That's what they had effective suppression on. Right. Being in the FAST community for two years, you know, we're so close quarters battle centric that, you, you know, your mind can only hold so much. So I've done a lot of the conventional fighting dump, if you will. It was just one of those things that I had to accomplish, you know. Really, I've learned a ton of stuff that I should have known, you know, as an 0369. Hey, machine guns, how many rounds you got? My expectations were uh, to become more proficient, to have a better understanding of subjects such as call for fire, better understanding of controlling air. I had never shot any, any live rounds through any mortar system. I had never touched an 81 millimeter mortar system, so. Five combat deployments aside, I, I still always know in the back of my mind, you know, brilliance in the basics. Getting your nose in the books, understanding doctrine, because doctrine is that common ground between uh, different units. And over here, that last burn, that's CRP3. We've got some instructors here are, who are tactically genius. You know, we've got some really brilliant instructors here Way that are going to open your eyes, you know, to looking outside the box, you know. It, we, they do so many stex lanes where you talk your way through a scheme of maneuver and they'll show you something that you, you might not have thought about. You realize you're low on ammo? What do you, what do you have to do to your boss? Call him. Let him know. Sir, I have They, they do a pretty good job of uh, going around the horn and letting everyone be in a leadership position just to get you used to it, kind of see what your decision-making abilities are. And, and again, not so much of, hey, you know, any decision is better than no decision, is what they base it off of, but also why you made the decision you made, so you can work with that. You just don't have all the tools you need until you come to this course. They sharpen you up here. You know, you come in pretty rough, and they sharpen you up. Now, I would definitely say it's, it's one of those things that they should definitely look into making it a prerequisite to, to being an 0369, because it's, the bottom line, it's not about looking good on the fit rep, it's about the knowledge that you're going to impart about the Marines that you're going to lead. So, Coming here, you're going to become more proficient in your MOS. If you don't want to become more proficient in your MOS, then you probably shouldn't be in the infantry.